Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. We're creating a diamond material in Octane. This video was brought to you by Skillshare, where you can get access to over 25,000 full courses on a huge range of subjects. The classes are project-based and teachers take you through all the steps in creating each project and when you're done, you can share your work with teachers and the student community for feedback and support. We've actually got three CG Shortcuts courses on there now, with new courses being released regularly, covering a bunch of stuff we don't usually go into on YouTube. So if you want to test out Skillshare, there's a link below for a free two-month trial that will give you access to the entire catalogue of courses, including the courses from CG Shortcuts so you can see if it's right for you. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So this tutorial is from our brand new training series, the Octane Materials Masterclass, where we cover absolutely everything you need to know about creating beautiful materials in Octane Render. And best of all, it comes with a huge Octane material library and regular updates, so the content keeps on growing. You can check that out at the link below, otherwise, let's get to it. Okay, let's make some diamond materials. We've got a couple of diamond shaped models in here and we've got a light coming from up above and a HDR map giving us a bit of ambient light in our scene. So let's go over to our Octane node editor and we'll bring in an Octane material. And to make diamonds, we're going to use a specular material. So let's grab all of our diamonds, then we'll come down to our material and right click and we'll apply that to all three of them. Then we'll fire up our live viewer and at first, they're not looking too diamondy. It's looking a bit more like glass. So let's start up in the roughness channel. Most of the diamonds in the real world, at least the expensive ones, are pretty clear and don't have a lot of roughness. But there's also no material in reality that's completely smooth. So we should at least put a little tiny bit of roughness in here. So let's go with a value of 0 0.0001. And then we'll go on to one of the most important settings for diamonds the dispersion. And if you do a quick Google of the dispersion coefficient of diamonds, you'll find that it's 0 0.044. And that's giving us this cool effect where the spectrum of light is being separated into its individual colors and they're bouncing around inside our diamond. And the way they do that is very dependent on the next setting we'll have a look at here, the index or index of refraction. And again, if you Google the index of refraction for diamonds, it'll come up with a value of 2.417. And that softened up that dispersion in there and changed the angle of our reflections. So these guys are already looking a lot more realistic. So the next thing you wanna do when you're working on diamonds or any other transparent material is take a look at your Octane render settings. And the setting you wanna keep an eye on is the specular depth. The higher we have this, the more times our light is able to bounce around within our object. So let's bring that right up. And now our diamonds are looking a lot more sparkly and realistic. You also wanna make sure your GI clamp is nice and high, so the light isn't clamped when it's bouncing around your object. Okay, let's close our octane settings. And another thing you might like to do to let a bit more light into these is turn on the fake shadows. So we'll do a before and after. Let's right click here and store that in the render buffer. Then we'll go and turn the fake shadows on. And now we've got a before and after. So it's quite subtle, but it does let a little bit more light into our diamonds. Okay, let's go and turn our comparison off. And we can also tint our diamonds different colors if we come over to transmission, we can pick a nice blue color, something like that. Or we could make these pink diamonds, super easy. But if you're going for the traditional diamond, it's probably best to keep this at zero or white. And you don't have to be super scientific with this. We could come back to the dispersion and just pick a value that looks good. I think a value of 0 0.01 looks pretty cool. So get artistic with this and see what cool refractive diamond materials you can come up with. As usual, you can download the project file down below and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.
Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Or you could leave a like or a dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.